Hello viewers, I welcome you all from HLTF Tech channel and today we are going to uh, discuss about creating a SharePoint search center site in uh, already existing uh, website of your organization. Uh, so we already have created and configure a search service for facilitating users with search facility. If you uh, haven't we, uh, watched that video. I request you to go to my channel and watch this video so that uh, so that the current video that I'm going to uh, demonstrate you may be more beneficial for you. <clears throat> so in uh, our previous video, uh, we just created and configured the search service and now uh, we are going to create a, a SharePoint search center so that I want that all the users of my organization may have uh, one standard page where they can search any document up to their requirement so let's start so uh, this is my website uh, we have configured it in our previous videos as you know if you are with me and you are watching my previous videos then you must know that how we configured it and how uh, we are going uh, up till now so, so let me tell you that this template is a communication site template uh, that is available out of the box in SharePoint and it gives you a simple search box at top right corner okay you can click here and type anything for results and uh, you can if you have access to that document uh, as your login user you can uh, quickly go and see the document that you want I want to have a more impressive search uh, page for the users because uh, this box is very small and this is not a proper search uh, page or a separate search page you, uh, you uh, if I say in uh, easier words so uh, SharePoint also gives you uh, many other search boxes let's say if I go into document center this is a document center template uh, that is available out of the box we configured it in our previous videos and here in the top right corner you also have one uh, search box here you can also search the documents here uh, and it will also navigate you to uh, same type of page and uh, last of all one more search option is available when you go into particular app that is document library uh, and uh, here you have on the ability uh, you have the facility of searching your uh, required uh, document <clears throat> but now I want uh, that I uh, that my organization may have a uh, some uh, standard page of search where all users can go and search their documents uh, easily and moreover uh, the the page that will appear will have uh, more options uh, and well I, I will configure it I will tell you in details right now you are seeing that uh, the search page through uh, on which SharePoint is navigating me is a simple page and there is a, a simple filter that where I can find this document what type of uh, content I am searching I am searching for file sites or news or which type of file type I'm searching right now I have uh, very less data uh, I have only one presentation in my uh, demonstration video so it's telling me about PowerPoint <clears throat> so now I'm going to configure a uh, search center for my organization so for creating search center I'm going into the central administration and here I'm going into application management here I will uh, select create site collection and this is my web application in which I am going to uh, select a search center and I am going to name it HLTF tech search center okay I want that there must be a search center here in which my users can easily come and search for their required documents if they have access so and the template which I am going to select is okay this is the one enterprise search center 
this uh, if we go into the details what SharePoint is telling SharePoint is telling me that uh, enterprise search center is a site focused on delivering an enterprise wide search experience okay <clears throat> uh, I am telling you in the last part of my this video that how you can bind it with your search service so that whatever the user search they are redirected to this page this is a standard page for your enterprise wide search experience <clears throat> so i'm going to select the admin of this page who will be responsible and uh, the secondary administrator in case my uh, primary administrator gets some issue so it's always recommended that you give separate primary and secondary administrators and i'm going to select no quota and i'm going to click ok it will take some time after that a new search and enterprise search center will be created and then we will see how it looks and feels okay friends here you can see that a new site collection has been created successfully if i select it i copy it and i go into my internet browser paste the url you will see that a search center template that is available in sharepoint out of the box will appear so this is the search center here so you can uh, modify this page i'm not going into details but i'm just telling you an idea you can add a web part here you can see uh, anything else you can also change uh, some navigation links this is the search page and uh, if i go and write something here let's see whether it is giving me yes now this was a simple page that was available in my uh, web application previous uh, before configuring the sharepoint search center and this is the page that uh, is just configured by us in this video so you can see the difference first of all user interface this is the user in this user interface is definitely less user friendly than the this one similarly if i go into the options there was only three available options here but here you can see that there are four available options at the top whether you want to search people whether you want to search conversations whether you want to search videos similarly when i go here it uh, gives me further details that what uh, what this document is uh, that is it's uh, has this type of content this was lost modified on this who are the contributors and uh, if i go and click on view library i can go into the actual location where it, this document is placed and similarly i can uh, filter out more results here uh, i can filter on modified date I can also filter on uh, that author who is the author of this document. I can filter the result type and and most important thing what I uh, have uh, option I can go into the advanced search. So what is the advanced search? It's telling me there are multiple options of advanced search. You can see if the author contains uh, this and and you can add multiple conditions as per your requirement and you can uh, get your desired ac accurate result uh, by uh, defining these filters so uh, this search results are very important and last of all what I want to do now I want that all the search of the users which they give here is directed to uh, this page so what I have to do I have to go here and uh, I'm going to control a control C 
what I will do last of all I am going into central administration here I am going into manage service applications and here I am going into search service application and here it's giving me a global search center URL option here I will click set a search center URL and I will define the search center URL here and I will click OK so my global search center URL has been uh, configured successfully and going into IIS and uh, what I'm going to do I'm going to restart the application pool so that the settings may which we desi desire I'm going to click retry to see whether my old application pools are working fine Hey friends here you can see that after application pool refresh my global center search URL has been defined and uh, this is for the purpose that uh, regardless the user's location wherever he searched for the documents in the web application he will be redirected to this page so that he may have uh, he may see a uh, some uh, you can say a standard page of the organization of search center so this was all about enterprise search center page for your web application or for your sharepoint uh, sites so that uh, you may uh, have a, some standard uh, page of search did with users with more search features well i thank you all for uh, seeing this video and i request you to subscribe my channel so that you may continue watching more videos i thank you all